John here guys and today we're talking about the new version of this Mamba toothpick board. This is the F411 25 amp all in one <laughs> board that's right it is the 25.5 millimeter whoop size or toothpick size rather and you know when you are growing up when you're graduating from toothpick to twig when you're going on to three inch and four inch but you still want to keep your build volume low your weights down then you want something that can handle the amperage that those larger motors are going to be taking. Now, my favorite stack for a lot of those builds so far, like what I built my 4-inch twig on was the Mamba MK220 by 20 stack because I wanted the security to be able to run those 1408 motors on something high. Now, Beta FPV was first on the market with a high amperage toothpick style board with their 20 amp version but this goes one better 25 amp 30 amp burst i would feel perfectly safe supplanting the 20 by 20 board that i installed in a lot of those builds with this thing i would probably feel very safe even powering a very small 22 uh size motor maybe 22 or 5.5 something like that now it does only do up to 4S, so you're not gonna be doing any 6S on this, but that's perfectly fine for a lot of these small um, boards like this. Let's go through the notes. This has the MPU 6000 gyro, the preferred gyro of FPV pilots everywhere, and you're having two sets of UARTs. That means you're perfectly fine to be able to run Crossfire, SBUS, any of those on here. The other UART could potentially be used for the DJI system, if you so choose, which I'm very curious about doing. And, of course, it has its own target, which is the Mamba F411 target in Betaflight. This comes at only 7 grams, so you're going to be saving some size and weight by doing this. I really like how Diatone is including these little instruction cards instead of just a little manual it's very easy to stick with uh, your stuff and follow it as you build it up it gives you a full diagram of what all of the things are on here and if you look at it with your usb pointed downwards you can see that you have power leads at the bottom you can see that you have your motors of course on the corners you have your receiver system on the left side. You have your buzzer on the right side. And then at the front is where you have all of your camera and video pads right out there. So that is fantastic. And you know what they've done? They've actually given you one of those UARTs at the front by the camera stuff. Why is that? In case you might want to run DJI. Ew! Yes, very nice. Uh, I appreciate them doing that. And that they've given you a little TX2 and RX2 right next to each other in a staggered fashion. Outstanding. They've also included for you all of your little gummies. You got the blue ones, you got the purple ones. It comes with a little capacitor in here. This is a 25 volt, 330 rated capacitor it comes with cables for your power leads and your xt30 i mean this is everything you could want to be able to get that build going so if you're going to mount this in a super tight fashion like i did on the tadpole three inch build uh, just note the original mom board is a bit thinner check it out from the side profile um, in order to really beef up this 25 amp version there are a lot of extra little components little caps um, larger fets on here to be able to accommodate the power but the result is that this board is a little thicker on the edges that's really not a concern for 98 percent of the builds out there but if you are going to try to put this in something where it really has to fit close together and every millimeter counts that's just something that you should note so i've really been wanting to do a very small lightweight three inch 
um, toothpick style build that has DJI on board. This would be perfect for that. This would be perfect for any of those twig, three inch, four inch builds. This would be perfect for a super, super light racer. I heard Pyro is coming out with some new, very light bottom plate racing frame designs. This would go perfect with that. And it comes in at a price. It's going to be priced at $50. I don't know if it's actually out at the time of this video but that puts it 10 bucks cheaper than the beta fpv board now let's talk about the elephant in the room the jemcu or whatever that other board is there is a 30 amp board floating around that is a few dollars cheaper than this so which one do you go with i'm gonna be trying both i'll let you know which one but i think you can be comfortably safe going with either one of these I really love all of the Mamba and Diatone products. They really give you a lot of performance, ease of use, ease of installation, high availability at all of the shops for a very low affordable price. They prove, they've proven that they put a lot of testing into everything they put out. So I'm feeling very comfortable about installing this. You know, when you're gonna install like a DJI system, on board a quad you don't want it flaming up because you're not just risking the cost of the quad you're not just risking the cost of the board you're risking the cost of that air unit if it's anywhere close to it and so my money is probably going to go on this thing first thanks guys